spotted before. The big fireworks have got me up and around now. Ah, oh, the G. The G's are entering the stadium in a qualifying final here at the G. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Go, G's. Feeder pitch scenes here at the G. Qualifying final. Rogie's tagged along. He's got the D scarf. How are you, mate? I'm a D's fan every September. My blue bag is never make it, but the D's are going back to back, and it's the first day we get getting there. Jeez, that's a massive call, but it all starts here tonight against the Swans. Qualifying final. We've had the pot, we've had the palmy, and now we just get into the real stuff. Best on ground and margin, please. Uh, best on ground. I think Gordy. I think Gordy's going to have a mass massive one. I think the D's by 34 points. That's huge from a usually modest man like yourself. I reckon it'll be a bit closer. I reckon the D's by two goals and Buddy goes for the two. Go the D! Go the D! Come on, D! Go on, D! Oh, here we go! Jesus, that's loud! Haywood gets the first goal of the game. Um, not sure what the free Taheen was for. Couldn't no, have been in that contest. No, I'm, pretty, I'm near certain it was off the ball, but big arm wrestle early. You had it. You had the territory. You needed to capitalise. I feel. Fritter lining up for the quick response. Come on, Fritter. Ah, oh, that's perfect, Bailey Frisch. Great clearance by the D's. It was almost. Every half handball was almost to the back of someone or fumbled or it wasn't perfect, but they kept stringing the ball forward, got to Langdon, lowered the eyes, hit Fritter. Great mark, Mills went back pretty bravely and then Fritter's gone and slotted it in front of 75,000 here at the gym. For the second time in a couple of nights, we've got the non-celebration, except this time you got paid the goal. Very lucky there, Spargo. It is a fraction away from hitting the post. That would have been a vital chance gone begging. But it went through, so happy days. The D's are in front. Jeez, hot and heavy first term. The D's have a five-point lead. Benny Brown, great mark, great finish. It just feels like this could be one of the all-time great ball bursters. He's a different player in finals than he is home and away, isn't he, Ben Brown? He is. He is. The D's have been good so far. Weathered a bit of a storm. Let's see how they go. Come on, Fritter. Right on quarter time to give us a ten-point lead. Come on, Fritter. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Go the D's. Quarter time here at the MCG qualifying final. The D's are up by 10 points after a goal to Bailey Fritch. Pretty good first term, but the Swans were on top of us for a little bit there. They probably missed a couple of chances, so pretty lucky to have a couple of goal lead. Very even contest. Hopefully we can keep this advantage for the rest of the game. Cozzy Pickett's taking a great mark directly in front of us. We're right behind the kick. We'll know straight off the boot whether it's home. Come on, Cos. Yeah! Oh, Cozzy Pickett! Buddy sucks May and Petrarca into two of the softer sort of flops. Free kick to Haywood who kicks his second. Don't have to pay them as an umpire, they're not there. No, no, but full credit to Franklin for sucking him in. He needed to do something. Happily lining up for two in a row over the Swannies. Yeah! Yes! A cheap 50, well, two 50s, and then a ludicrous inside 45 from Gorney. I know we get frustrated when we just play down the line, down the line, down the line, but time and place. Get the ball in your kicker's hands, and I don't feel like Big Matty is the kicker to hit the 45. So, um, know your limitations and know your role. Back to a four point game in the space of eight minutes. Callum Mills has slapped it over his head from 45 metres through a stoppage. For their third in a row for the Swannies, they have the ascendancy. They're up and about. The D's desperately need the net. Four of the last five to the Swans. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, not good. It'll go down to the wire that much we do know. Don't think it was the 10 goals off particularly at the start of the game. Half time here at the MCG, the D's now trail by one straight kick. The Swans had most of the play in that 
second term. I think they kicked four or five goals to one. Uh, very, very frustrating that we've sort of allowed them to get on top of the game. We really need that next goal. We really need the first goal of this term. Get the game back on our terms. Get a bit of breathing space again. It got to 16 points halfway through that second for us. And then, I don't know, the Swans just evaporated the lead. So I am currently so nervous. This is the most nervous I've been all season. Season on the line, down by kick, and the Swans look very, very good. To come on tees, get it done. Clayton Oliver gets to holding the ball to start this third term. I don't like his set shot work, Roger. He doesn't miss these, I hear. I hear he's impeccable in front of the big sticks. Come on, Clary. Much needed goal to start the third term. <laughs> The goal we needed, it's back to all square, start of the third. Game on, come on, Dave. It's the scoring end, is it? It must be. Bailey Frisch kicks his third, and the D's are up by a goal. And the crowd is going bananas here at the G. Come on, Dave. Shades of WA, massive. Three in a row, three quick goals to the D's. In the space of 30 seconds, we're out to a two goal lead. Massive start to this third term, got to keep it up. Come on, Dave. Tom Papley kicks another opportunistic snag. They've kicked four of their goals, snaps from 45 metres out. Um, Mills dropped it in the tackle, was probably knocked out in the tackle, but it looked almost holding the ball. They get a nice response, it's back to a kick. D's in front by a goal. Jake Lloyd slots one from the boundary. They have kicked some absurd goals. I remember complaining against Collingwood when they were kicking goals out of their ass. Sydney have kicked some absurd under pressure finals goals in the middle of the MCG. I can't believe some of their snags. It is absurd. Back to all even halfway through this third. Come on Jake, you need the response. Oh no. Enormous tackle from Clayton Oliver. Lining up to give the D's the lead again. He kicked one earlier. Enormous tackle. Some of the D's pressure are keeping us in it at the minute. Come on. second, the man you said can't kick. Well, it's his set shots that are a bit of a worry. Come on, Clary. Clayton, bang. Oh, Clayton Oliver gives the D's a lead. Two big goals in big moments. And uh, he's risen to the moment as the Brownlow medalist of this season, you feel? Oh my lord. What a snag. Great what a tackle. tackle. What a, either way he's flying him around, make sure he can't get a beat to it unreal. Clayton Oliver gets cheered off in front of the MCC. The D's are back in front. 50 to Lovely. Sam. 50 to Sam Reid. Cosy Pickett wasn't anywhere near that. They don't pay that anymore. I thought they stopped that. Uh, if you're in the area and you're running out of it, it should not be 50 metres. But did he come into the area? We'll need to look at it again. Sam Reid lining up from directly in front. We're going to have to come from behind. Yeah, I want to see the replay. Did he come into the area, in which case 50 metres, or was he in the area then tried to leave it, in which case play on? This has been some of the worst finals umpiring I've ever seen. I got so excited because I loved the finals adjudicating because it's always the best of the best. Here we go. Let's this see, has let's been a howler. Sam Reid torched us last time he played. Sam Reid was the difference last time he played. And uh, proving to be the difference here in the third this time. Gonna have to come back, gonna have to take the long way home, but uh, I still believe in the boys. <laughs> so frustrating. Maxi Gorn lining up to reduce it to seven points late in the third. Roger just said, captain's moment, this is it. Need this goal to stem the bleeding. Come on, Maxi. 10 10 from said shots, 50 50. Come on, Maxi Gorn. Outside tails, and it is. Come on, Dees! 
Yeah. My heart is gone. I feel fatigued. I feel so nervous. And there's still a whole nother quarter and a bit to go. So strap in, this is going to be an all-time finish. Maxi gone. He's been held. He's been tugged all day. They finally call one. The Swannies have had that many frees <laughs> this term that we would just do one as well. Captain's moment. Clutch. He just loves him from the arc, doesn't he? Terrific decision. Terrific finish. If we could get a late one quickly, it would be massive to stay in this. Come on, Dees. Gone up one end, Hickey down the other. This could almost be the result if he kicks this. What? He put from Hickey from directly in front to give him a two and a bit goal margin. Yeah! Yeah, Maxi! Oh, no. 13 points. Three quarter time and the D's trailed by two goals. So it was a goal at half time. Three at uh, two at three quarter time. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Just wait till you get the wheels in motion. You haven't hit your full strides yet. There was that one passage where it was handball, 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 sparrow, sparrow goal. A couple more of those and I reckon uh, just wait till you get into gear. I see it happening in this last quarter. We're just they're cleaner. They're just cleaner with the hands, cleaner with the marks. It's just frustrating. We're making little fumbles at crucial times. Yeah, it hasn't quite got going for you yet, but the good thing is you haven't been anywhere near your best and you're only a goal down. So, two. Let's hope you get, uh, get it going in this last quarter and it'll be a timely manner. Massive, massive last term. You either go straight to a prelim at the G, or we face the Lions at the G. Massive ramifications. Really need to live. Got to find a gear, got to find a way. Come on, Dees. Get it done, Dees. Find a gear. Come on, Swans. Jake Lloyd's been given 50. Very undisciplined from Harms. He's kicked the goal. It's 18 points. That's all she wrote, you feel? Yeah. Not quite. Still plenty of time. Modern footy, mate. You can kick five goals in five minutes. Ah, oh, the Swans. The Swans are probably home. On the back foot here, the boys. I haven't seen us in this position in a game for a while. I'd like to see us go full throttle. Really take the game on. We're going to need it. 20 points down. Start of the last. It's go time now. Jake Melcher marks. Must kick this to reduce it to 14 points. <laughs> Been on the back foot. Got to go now. Heaney kicks the sealer. They have just grounded us down for four quarters. We've just been slowly but surely grounded down over the space of this game. Swan's way too good. Good thing you get the double chance. The privilege you get it for finishing top four. Oh, so frustrating, so disappointing. Anytime we've had any advantage, we just can't capitalise. Um, the Swans have sort of out Melbourne, Melbourne tonight. Most fumbly I've seen the D's in a long time. Very, very fumbly. Slipping the ground. Just giving up on a lot of contests. Not hitting simple yeah. handballs. Very, very disappointing night. Come on, come on. An absolute hush around the MCC. Yeah. Yeah. Just as heartbreaking as you could ever think. Um, just not good enough. Sort of out Melbourne the D's did the Swans. Absolute shame. Couple of cheap snags from the umps. I don't know what to make of that. Viv, Rog, how do we feel? You're obviously Shadow McDonald, but surely the saving grace is a double chance against a very vulnerable line. Surely we're through to a prelim anyway. All right, I'll go glass half full. I did not get to see the D's in finals at all last year and they've just given me an extra opportunity. Yeah, so, exactly so, right. So glass half full. Two I, for the price of one. I get to go to four, potentially, games, finals this, this year. How good is that? They've done you a favour. Glass half empty is... Play the treasures. We're either going to go out in straight sets to the Lions or pinch one and get rolled by the Cats in a prelim. <laughs> You're not going to lose to the Cats in a prelim oh. that much. Like I couldn't bear to see you having me a mate. Heartbreaking result. Once again, we've got at least one more game day vlog to go. If they can get up. They will. Two, maybe three. They will. Thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Thanks for all the support. Send, um, send some lovely messages down below. I'm absolutely heartbroken. And um, we roll the sleeves up. We go again. Go deep.